Let's go from this to this. Shark smooth style review coming right up. Let's see if this is a genius move from Shark. I'm excited because this might be the best one-step styler. They have an extra feature that other one-step stylers don't have. They have this ceramic hot plates that are supposed to straighten and smooth your hair. And they have two features. They have a wet hair feature and a dry hair feature. The Shark Smooth Style is right under $100. Expensive, but also reasonable considering it's a two-in-one hair styling tool. So you have the two modes. You have the wet hair mode and the dry hair mode. When it's in the wet hair mode, you have three airflow options, low, medium, and high. The only time the plates turn on or heat up, only used in the dry mode feature, and they heat up to 420 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the only temperature setting you are given, just the one temp, 420. 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's do it. We're gonna go with the wet mode feature. My hair is already prepped. They say to do it on 70% hair that's damp or wet, damp, and just prep your hair, detangle your hair, and begin drying or blow drying your hair to give yourself a beautiful blowout. I'm gonna do the highest airflow. Loud. <laughs> Just like the Revlon on the highest airflow, it feels <laughs> it feels warm. You can feel that you can feel that heat coming from the smooth style. What I would. About, what about the air dynamics? Is it coming out everywhere evenly? If you turn that on right now, feel it. It's coming more from the center versus Revlon. It was coming more so from the top, but this is coming more from the center, not from the bottom or the top, but just in the center on both sides. That's good. All right, let's continue. Also, I will say the bristles because there's not as many of them. It's not pulling on your hair as much as the other one-step stylers. It's getting warm. <laughs> My face is starting to flush. I accidentally turned the plates on. So be careful when you switch off your hair dryer and <laughs> go in the direction you're supposed to. I honestly think those heated plates they're gonna be game changing, especially for touch-ups on dry hair, or even that, you know, right after you blow dry your hair from wet to dry, you take those heated plates and you just give yourself even more of a beautiful blowout. But we'll test it out. Whoops, again. <laughs> I turned on the heated brush, heated bristles. I turned on the heated plates. That's not good. We don't want those heated. I'm gonna turn the plates on now. This little light indicator, it's saying uh, once it's green, the plates are heated, you're good to go. Let's review how the Shark Smooth Style on wet hair mode feature looks. It took roughly 11 minutes, which honestly, pretty happy with the time. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer. No, 11 minutes, not bad. This is what the hair looks like. We have beautiful lift with the roots. We have really good shine. I'm very happy with the way the hair looks. Not as frizzy as I was anticipating. With the original One Step Stylers, I have a lot more frizz <laughs> when I'm done drying my hair. Now let's see on the dry hair mode feature, how much more shine, how much more bounce we can achieve. So on the dry hair mode, 
all you do is you just twist it to the plate option. There's a little picture right here. And on one, on both sides where the plates are, you'll see this light indicator. Once it turns green, you're heated up and you're ready to go. Let's go for it. And yes, there is no air. It's just the plates that are turned on. It's gonna go through it once. It's a play on the Timo, the heated comb. It's one of the best ones on the market, in my opinion. So you could just do that even. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is a one pass type of a one step styler. And go a little bit slower. Put a little bit of tension in there on both sides and just gently drag down. It's not pulling on my hair, it's not tugging also. It's nice and smooth. It's not really getting close to these little baby hairs right here. Let's see if I can get it closer. So as I'm twisting, I'm like pulling, ten putting tension on the hair. Just gently twist down. But problem is, some hairs keep getting stuck in this right here, from the white packaging to the brush head. Okay, what do we think? I like the loose waves on this side. They have a beautiful shine. They look sleek. Not extremely voluminized, but I wasn't looking for, I wasn't trying to create that volume. And then we have on this side, more of that sleek, straighter result with a still nice body, with a little bit of body in my hair. I do like the shine. And I would say it's pretty smooth and sleek, not as much frizz. It definitely toned everything down, but I do like that there is some versatility to the new Shark Smooth Style. And the only thing, my complaint, honestly, for this tool is this right here. If you get too close and you start wrapping it, the hair will get stuck. So you kind of have to unwind and then gently take it out. Even on this side right here, when I was twisting it, I would say a lot of the sections did get stuck towards the top. But again, I would just have to play with this tool and see the best way to create those waves. Honestly, just maybe going down, but also, yeah, I'm not sure because it's the same thing on here as well. Maybe it's a little better, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to achieve different looks from the new Shark Smooth Style. Who is the Shark Smooth Style good for? I think if you've been eyeing the Shark Flex Style and you don't want those extra attachments or if you've been eyeing the Dyson Airwrap and those other attachments are not exciting for you, this is it. If you like a good blowout at home or if you already have a one-step styler and you just need to update it or upgrade it because you know those bristles, they get wonky after a certain amount of time. This new Shark Smooth Style makes other one-step stylers absolutely why? Because of these plates right here. They have a wet and a dry hair mode feature. You do not have to use the hot plates, but I think the hot plates do add that extra sleekness, that extra smooth finishing touch to your hair after using the brush head for when your hair was wet to dry. I think that's incredible. I like that you can use only the dry mode maybe like the second or third day to tame your hair after the gym, after you're wearing your hair in a ponytail, just smooth your hair out even more. 
but overall very impressed with the shark smooth style i think it's phenomenal it's a game changer and i like that it actually performs and it works great that's all i have to say we're gonna have more information on our website milibubeautyreview.com i hope you guys check it out but for now thank you for watching spending time with me and i'll see the next one very soon